Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share part two of today's message. So um, I do messages for guidance for those who are on a twin flame soul to soul journey to reunite with your vibrational match in this lifetime. And so um, this is, I'm going to do a tarot for today to say what is the energy that we're playing with today? What do we need to know? And I'm using the Starman Tarot deck, my absolute favorite deck it is amazing and it's also by a husband and wife team david deangelis and esther deangelis of course so much so just so much magic in this deck and then i'm going to read some letters from the divine love letter books that i do these are all channeled letters that i channel between people's twins so their higher selves tap into their higher self and then basically these are the messages that come through and so the letters that want to come through is, is 23 again <laughs> 23 and also um, 155. So the reason why 23 is because if you look here, um, I've been talking about the free solo documentary, which is a climbing documentary. And there are so many messages within that. Um, but <laughs> I was just watching, uh, so just watching a interview and have a look here. What's at the back of it? 23, of course. So I was like, okay, I know you want me to read 23 again. It keeps coming through. And the other one is 155. So, but firstly, I'm just going to see, okay, what's the energy for today? What do you want us to know? And it is the star. Oh my goodness. So huge healing going on at the moment, right? Massive healing. Um, I did a group healing this morning for um, the Crystal Grid members. And basically what I saw was um, a hot, the earth was a hot air balloon and in the basket all the crystal, crystal grid members were climbing in. So all the TFs that are part of the grid all climbing into it. And uh, But there were strings attached so it was keeping them the ground. You know, the basket wasn't rising up because there were strings attached all the way around. <clears throat> and I was guided to go with Archangel Michael and cut all of those energetic cords. So this is a little tip for you. Um, always cut the energetic cords that are around you that are basically not needed anymore. And so um, every day there'll be more cords that you want to release because you're just moving on to further um, walking down your best path, your highest path, you know, and your destined path. And so every day you just say, OK, I'm ready to cut the cords that I no longer need to walk my highest path. I'll ask Archangel Michael to help you. And so that's what we had to do. And when we did all of the cord cutting, um, and you can use a pair, imagine, visualize a pair of golden scissors, close your eyes, you can actually feel or see all of the cords around you. You can cut them all and uh, basically then just say, you know, ask Archangel Michael to protect you and to um, allow you to stand in your truth and give you the strength and courage you need to be a warrior for love. Anyway, so. Um, so does it surprise me that star, the star has come up then? No, because that was exactly what I was going to, I was doing this morning. It was all about, you know, cutting those cords and, um, setting ourselves free. Cause of course when I cut all the cords, then the hot air balloon with everyone in it rose up. And then the, I'm just seeing it now that the hot the earth hot air balloon turns into a big heart hot air balloon which is rather lovely. <clears throat> so uh, that is what we're all doing, rising up. So the star. And we've had this a couple of times over the last couple of weeks. So there has been a huge healing going on. There's been a big shift in the energies, more movement into trust. If you feel like you've been broken open, again, just treat every break open as a gift because the more you get broken open, the more you crack into the light. So, I beam your light. The, the figure is graceful, her arms raised above her head, hands delicately poised, reminiscent of the beautiful sacred dancing that is performed at the temple rituals and cultural dances of Bali. Her fingers conduct fine electric filaments, divine energy, as she stands in waters boasting much aquatic life. Hands reach out to her from the depths below and her starlight nourishes and raises them out of the sea of overwhelming emotion. The star, a potent symbol of light and transformation, pierces the mask of the ordinary to release the extraordinary. 
a powerful conduit of the divine radiance, she moves effortlessly between the personal and transpersonal realms, embodying and transmitting larger-than-life energy. Fully cognizant, she is a divine vehicle and catalyst for the star energy in others. She lives into the incredible freedom and expansion that the energy offers her and trusts it completely. Her presence is felt, charismatic, a great lightning conductor. So often in life we see the star up on stage, shining their light and forgetting the tremendous focus, determination, self-control and sacrifice that is required to light up the world for us. Starlight travels through time and space, the emissary of the celestial realm, a pure source of creative flow, igniting inspiration. Know this star quality is available to you, the extraordinary that lights up the ordinary, exposing the magic that is always available in your life. A renewed sense of purpose and creativity suggests that it's time to reveal your hidden talents and shine brightly. There is much you can offer that will be gratefully received. So, the, and the message is to dream big. Allow inspiration to guide you. Step out and enjoy the beauty of the world. Share your gifts and shine brightly. So, being cracked open to basically uncover more of your light and to, uh, she's rising up out of this emotional whirlpool, right? Um, and the more that we rise up out of our emotional and cut those emotional ties, um, cut all those energetic cords and basically rise up, rise up in your full creative power and you are a beaming goddess of light. There you go. Amazing. So yes, totally, totally, totally get that today. Uh, so we're rising up, rising up. <clears throat> so the message is 23 and 155. 23, I'm just curious because I know that number 23 has been coming through loads. So that I need you. I need to hear you tell me that you miss me, you love me, and that you long for us to be together. You long for us to be entwined together for eternity, just as I yearn for this. I need to know that you yearn for it too, just as much as every cell in my body aches for you. I need to have you with me. I need to know that we will be together, no matter what. Our love and our union will bring us together against all odds. That love will win. We will be winners in love. Glorious, glorious love. A love that is so strong it takes my breath away, leaves me completely wiped out and exhausts me but inspires me and catapults me into a new being, a new self. It's love. Oh. So catapults me into a new self. Exactly what that card was just saying, you know. Um, being cracked open to show your light. And 155 uh, is this. My darling, gorgeous, wonderful love of my life. There aren't enough words in the dictionary to describe how I feel or what you do to me. I'm just so desperate to have you in my arms, to be with you completely, to give ourselves to each other and honour each other. I've waited for such a long time to be totally me, to be free from all the BS, to be honest about my feelings, to just say it like it is and not be fearful of getting hurt or having to have my guard up. I love you with every inch of my being. You are the essence of my soul. I feel you. I want you. I adore you. You are me. Well, there you go. So from <clears throat> there, like, I just need you to tell me because what I really want is I want to have the courage and the strength to just tell you exactly how I feel as well and not have my guard up. So letter 23 from book two, that you are the only one that I want to spend the rest of my life with, that I've made up my mind. I'm not going to let my fears and my crazy head get in the way of our happiness I need to man up. I know I'm not a little boy anymore and I can't keep putting my life on hold and hoping for a miracle to happen because I already found my miracle and it's you. It always has been. I've always wanted to be with you from the first time we met but I was scared and I wasn't in a good place. I was miserable and I didn't want me to bring your life down but now I see more clearly. I see that together we make each other Together we bring the light to each other's shadow. Together we are love. Pure, true love. Wow. <laughs> you know, you just think, oh, let's sit. Every time, it's just like my heart goes a little bit wider, a little bit more open, a little bit more like, ah, oh, 
it's okay. Uh, so, angel of my life, my precious beauty, you are the only one that I want to spend my days and my nights with. My soul is literally screaming to be back with you. I am so far beyond living the life that I want to be in. I'm so miserable and all I want is to be with you. I want to fulfill every fantasy with you. Live the dream, paint the town technicolor, live like it's our last day on this crazy planet every single day. I don't want to waste any more time. I want you, all of you, raw like a lioness because I'm in love with you. Oh my God, yesterday, wasn't it yesterday's message to say, I just want to be uh, your love lion or something? <laughs> so, and then yesterday's card was strength and it was the lion, have the lion courage. Uh, so yeah, gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> so sweet. Okay, so letter 23. I want you to be totally honest and open with me and tell me exactly how you feel. Don't hold back. Just open your heart and let me know. And don't worry about what I say. I need to hear your confidence and your love for me and your determination. That is what will give me the strength to do what I have to do. So much of my life I've lived in fear, but I really need reassurance to step out of my fears, to have confidence to be able to love you, to not fear our connection. So please be strong. Stay strong in our love and show me the way. There you go. Show me the way, be strong, um, follow your guidance, follow it fiercely. You know, that's the thing. Never shy away from following your guidance. No matter how totally off the charts, it might be totally left field. Mostly it is completely left field. But you have to do it. Uh, that's, the whole, that's the whole journey, you know, following the call of the soul. So letter 155 is... I want you to stop focusing on us as friends. Can't you think of us as lovers and feel us as lovers and feel us wanting to experience our sexual union? Move from being a friend to move into our desire to be intimate with one another. Isn't that what you want? Because that's what I want. But I just don't know how to do it. I feel scared that I'm going to do it wrong or make a wrong move. I do desire you. Focus on what we are here to do to fulfill our love journey together, to make our sexual union happen so we can lift up the planet with our lovemaking. <laughs> Focus on that. <clears throat> and guess what colour candles have been on the crystal grid? Red. Because <laughs> I was guided to, like, we need to channel the passionate energy the right way. And so the red candles have been on the crystal grid for a good few weeks. And uh, so they still are. So, uh, they're burning away right now. So, now, final one. Work your light oracle. What do we need today? Oh, my God. It's the awakening. See? And I was just about to say, remember, this is an awakening journey. We are all pulling together to awaken to uplift the planet. This is not a normal relationship by any stretch. And so, remember that. That's why you need to give yourself a break. Give yourself a pat on the back. And just know that you're doing the best you can. So, you are going through a period of awakening. Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you are incarnated. During this time of transitioning and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books <laughs> and creations waiting to be birthed into this world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world. Or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in your life in order to be a service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe using me in a way that delights my mind, body and spirit. There you go. <clears throat> totally this ties in with the group healing that I did this morning where I saw the hot air balloon with all of the twins in it. Rise up, rise up, rise up. We had to cut all the cords that were keeping us back. And the hot air balloon went from the earth into a big heart. Awakening into this incredible love vibration. Also totally in keeping with the conversation uh, message that I just loaded about the divine counterparts being hung upside down so they can see life in a different way. Totally in keeping with this, so go check that out. 
All right, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.